Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I have yet another thought for you. Are you a business owner or are you self-employed? This is a debate not just for tax reasons, right? And I know tax season's here and if you haven't filed your business taxes, you might be in a little bit of a spot here with your CPA. But let me give you a quick tip about what this really means for me, right? As a business owner, you are responsible for operating the business, but you've delegated a lot of your operational aspects, a lot of the things to your business to other people. That's what a business owner does. He's like an orchestrator. He's like a conductor in an orchestra of sorts. He tells the instruments what to do and, and how to do them. He measures things. He makes, th makes sure th things are going in the direction that they want to be in. A good business owner knows their strengths, what they're good at, and what they're not so good at. And they, they, they strategize for those things. They, they find the right people to help make those things better, right? And they're constantly looking to optimize and make things more efficient because that's their responsibility for the business. Business owner also would, in some, in some respects, not have to sleep, uh, stay up late at night thinking about all the things operationally that they don't have done, right? A small business or a self-employed person who's operating a small business is a one-man show, is a person who's trying to do everything, who really sees their business as something that is just so life-consuming, right? It is everything that they think about. It's everything that they're about. They are the secretary. They're the accountant. There's the, they're the, the guy who bakes the bread if they're a baker, right? It's so much more involved if you're self-employed. And, and what I'm going to really challenge people to think about is that statistically, there are obviously a lot of people that are self-employed. And it's rising, right? With COVID and, and the onset of these things, a lot of folks want to become their own boss. But really what that really means is that they want to become a slave to their job. They want their what they're doing to be the, the, their life, right? And, and that's certainly um, okay in, in a lot of respects. It's, it's certainly admirable that you want to, to bet on yourself and, and, and just do everything yourself as a self-employed person. But let's think a little bit outside of the box here for a minute. What if you started to trust other folks to operate a business with you? What if you could leverage other people's strengths? Could you be more effective? Could it be something that as a business owner, now that you want to consider yourself a business owner, um, you can see yourself separating from this idea that you've employed yourself to do everything. And, and let me make this distinction very clear, too. You can be a, sm a small business owner. You could say you own a business and you operate a business, but employ yourself as many different parts of the business. And I would challenge you that you're still self-employed in that instance, right? That you could be operating a business, but you could be so bogged down with all of the operational complexity and all of the things that you want to handle yourself that you've now self-employed yourself. You've, you've made the business your boss in some sense, rather than you're the boss of the business. So that's what I have today. That's what I'd like to, to share with you. I'd love for some commentary in the comments section about what you really think. Are you self-employed? Or do you consider yourself a business owner? And what is it going to take for you to move from one category to the next? Or uh, how, do you uh, how do you challenge yourself to stay a business owner? Because I think that is what you really want in a business. That's what you want to be able to do is you want to not only depend on others to help you operate the business, but you don't want the business to become your boss. You don't want to employ yourself to your business and be in a place where you're so bogged down with what the business is going to give you. So um, that, that's what I have today. Like I said, would love some commentary. Would love it if you aren't subscribed to this channel to please subscribe to my channel. Please give me topics to cover. I love covering all different types of topics. I love uh, interacting with people uh, online and in this platform. I love the idea that we can share information. The power in sharing information is, is so key here. I'm going to put some resources also in the, uh, in the uh, description of this video. Would love it if you check those out. See what, see what more I'm kind of talking about, maybe elaborate on uh, some of the topics of discussion here today and 
Uh, please connect with me socially. I'm on a lot of different social media platforms. Um, I'm also very much involved in the community here. If you're in um, the Miami area, would love to uh, connect with you that way as well. And visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.